What's going on guys, Coach Malik here. Welcome to another video. And today, I'm gonna help you with breaking through your plateau. To switch it up. On the shoulders, a little bit of tempo. So try this out. Uh, I was gonna say pills. They are pills. Okay, go. All right, so this one, I'm gonna do the leg extension. Basically, I just wanna show how we're not gonna be swinging. We're gonna be flexing, holding it, and then coming down and control it. We got Cammy on the film. <laughs> So try that, don't swing, control the weight, hold it for a second, come down for three seconds, you'll feel the pump in your quads, I promise. All right, so again today we're gonna focus on tempo. Legs went a little heavy, but right now I wanna go on the shoulders, a little bit of tempo. So try this out, and help you with your plateaus. Fast and down slow. Three, two, one. Three, control the weight down. Power it up. Two more. The last one. And then right after those, we're gonna straight into curl press, do a little bit of a, a combo movement. This one's not so much tempo. This is more of trying to keep your heart rate high and keep that circuit training working on your conditioning. But we're still controlling the weight. Got two more. Control your breathing. Hey guys, if you're trying to bike, break plateaus, try tempo training. workout um, so I just finished the workout as you guys saw and um, the reason I use this protein is because it's high in protein and it's low in sugar we have the muscle milk pro series now I know a lot of you guys are gonna say that there's better proteins out there with you there's fillers in here look at the ingredients you can't read them I get it but I'm not too worried about it right now I usually just go to my local grocery store this is there I don't feel like driving to vitamin shop or GNC so that's that as you were younger they say don't have people peer pressure you into drugs well kids when you're in fitness don't let other fitness influencers peer pressure you into their products that they're probably getting paid for with their code so no peer pressure i take muscle milk and comment down below what you take i'm interested uh comment down below wherever you're watching this video what you're taking this protein and maybe i'll try it out um i tried out one of my boys fit hitter um antonio uh he had nitroflex he actually uh, gave me a little sample, loved it, tried that out. So Nitroflex is great. You guys know me and my NO Explode. Uh, super fan of that, but anyway. And then for my, uh, I was gonna say pills. They are pills. But for my uh, supplements in terms of multivitamins, I take, but multivitamin, one. I take two magnesiums, high absorption magnesiums. 
I take a fish oil, I'm gonna try to do this for my camera guys. I take a fish oil. Now if you're a big guy, if you're like 200 plus, 220 plus, you might wanna take two pills even though it says one. I take a glutamine on workout days that I feel sore because it uh, helps me recover. L-glutamine, only on days I recover, and then a B12. That is for uh, energy and helps your body use your food that you eat for um, energy. So that's what I'm about to drink right now. And then that's what I take in terms of multivitamins. Sometimes I'll do like a berry smoothie uh, with my vanilla protein, but today I'm just gonna do, um, it's summertime, baby. And I'm trying to lean out. And so if you're trying to lean out, baby, you're gonna wanna take um, more protein and less carbs in, all right? You're gonna wanna consume less carbs because uh, protein's gonna help you build the muscle. Um, carbs are a great source of energy, but if you have too much, I mean, you're not gonna be able to maintain the muscle with the amount of leanness that you uh, desire. So if you're trying to get lean and you're hungry and you're not trying to starve yourself, because I'm never gonna starve myself, have a high protein diet. Lean meats, uh, protein shakes and snacks on the side. Try to limit your carbs for a minimum. If you do have carbs, try to have them be like vegetables, stuff like that. But I hope that helped and let's see you next clip. Also, I had some friends say it was weird the way I um, made my protein, so you let me know. Like, is this weird? I didn't think it was that weird before. Um, let's get my scoop here. Let's put in my cup of water. And uh, I don't know, I have a couple friends that make fun of me for this, guys. Is this that weird? I know the shaker bottle is popular, and I use it sometimes, but I mean, when I'm at home, I just like to scoop it up like this. You tell me. You gotta stir till there's no chunks. We don't like it chunky. No, we don't. We like it nice and creamy, just like we like our peanut butter. Creamy. It says creamy. We go for the creamy. No chunks, team no chunks. Team no chunks. Oh, I think it's good. Basically, got the multivitamin. Two magnesiums. Got my fish oil. Got my glutamine. And got my B12. <sighs> oh, yes. Get in my belly. Again, let me know what protein you're taking down in the comments down below. I'm about to close your class at Orange Theory again. Probably not gonna film any of it, but just trying to get these vlogs going. Trying to get more content out for you guys. Let me know what you want down in the comments down below. Good, right? In front the of the have been like really good lately, I feel like. Yeah, they've been. It's a lot of green shit. Just makes the turn, this is the green shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. This is currently empty. <laughs> oh my god. It's currently empty. It's a lot of Disney. green shit. Oh, I know. Here, Better safe than sorry. Yeah. Better safe than sorry. So my mom always told me. Better safe than sorry. What's going on, guys? So we're here at Safeway. Uh, it's local grocery store here in Mo Valley, and we're going to get some food. I don't know what I'm going to get yet, but um, a lot of people recently have been asking me because I've been doing this like hybrid cut for July 4. What have I been doing? What have I been eating? And basically, I've been eating Monday through Wednesday. So I'm 26, guys. I'm 20, just turned 27. I go out on the weekends, and I'm not going to. I'm not going to. I'm not going to starve myself or restrict myself of goodness. So a Monday through Friday, what I have to do in order to allow myself to eat a little bit more on the weekends is throughout the week, I need to be at negative, I think it's a thousand by the end of the week or negative 1500, no, negative a thousand and I'll lose a pound a week. Now I don't want to lose a pound a week, but I want to at least maintain leanness. And I know if I eat a lot during the weekends, it's going to be about that. So what I do is during Monday through Friday, the beginning of the week, 
is I will eat very little. I'll have like 1800 calories. My base metabolic rate, my BMR is uh, 2400. So um, just eating 18 to 2000 calories, I'm just gonna lose a little bit of weight every day. If I did that every day of the week, but on Saturdays, Sundays, and Fridays, I indulge. So Monday through Wednesday, I go really low on my calories. Per I prepare for it. It's not like I just go low and then do a lot of activity. Um, I do more cardio uh, in the beginning of the week. I do more um, lower weight, higher reps, more tempo training, as you guys saw in this video today. And yeah, so during those lower calorie days, I don't train as intense or as heavy. I train more lower intensity, moderate, and with more repetitions. On wet Thursday is my first heavy day, and then Friday is another heavy day. Um, those two days I go heavy, and I really try to destroy you know my muscle fibers because I'm gonna be eating a lot during the weekend. And then on Saturday, Sunday are kind of like an arm day slash whatever I feel. I'm just to get my body kind of, you know, woken up and back into the groove of things. My friend, Juice, Juicy, said this about the weekends. He said, this is about weekend workouts, which I love. You know, because usually the splits are Monday through Friday. People just usually work out Monday through Friday. They don't even work out on the weekends. But he said, he goes, weekends are for arms if you want to do it. And we always want to do it. So weekends, I usually just hit arms. I do a little bit of cardio, maybe to sweat out some toxins from the, the night prior. But um, yeah, I'm just basically going over what I eat. Very little through Monday through Friday, 1,800 calories about, with my BMR being 2,400. And then on Thursdays, Fridays, Saturdays, I indulge. Sundays is actually more of a mellow day. I might eat like a normal 20, 2,000 to 2,400 calories. So, but on Fridays and Saturdays, I go around 3,000, 3,500. I, I overdo it um, on those days. So I need to underdo it in the beginning of the week. So a lot of you guys were asking that recently while I'm kind of losing fat, losing weight a little bit. I'm not really losing weight. I'm kind of staying in between 195, 202. Um, if you guys can note, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you guys will see me post every day. Uh, if you're not following me, follow me on Instagram, Coach Malik. I basically weigh 195 to 198 in the beginning of the week. And then at the end of the week, I weigh 200 to 202. So that's kind of like my, where I'm at. Um, I don't really want to go much heavier. I don't want to go really any heavier. And I want to maybe go like down to 195 by the end of the week. 190 the beginning of the week. So we'll see. I'll keep you guys updated. And um, maybe I'll show you guys what I get at Safeway. All right, guys. I'm going to show you real quick what I got at Safeway for my food uh, for the next couple days. We got some sweet taters. And our oven just preheated um, because we got these roasted garlic and rosemary taters, which I'm super pumped for. Um, we got some ground beef. Now I got this 96% uh, lean, 4% fat. I've never gotten this lean before. The leanest I've gotten was 90-10. Um, so we'll see how that is. I got some tuna, a little tuna uh, put in a bowl tuna scallops, um, and some sauce. I got some, this is my favorite snack, a little cheddar cheese, almonds, and chocolate chips, but they're like Greek yogurt drops. I got banana mixed berries, frozen, for my smoothies in the morning. Banana for the smoothies in the morning. And I got more sweet taters. Completely, oh, they smell so good. Oh my god. Can't forget about the jumbo eggs. I don't know how I forgot these ones. But I also got cage free jumbo eggs. So I learned this recently. Um, cage free is like, so there's uh, free range, and then there's cage free, and then there's the normal 12 chicken in a cage anxiety alert egg. So this egg, cage free, is where the cage is about a medium size and a free range chicken has a lot more range so it has way more room to roam is but my brother just got some chickens and that's how I know it and they run around his backyard the normal chicken I just don't want to eat chickens anymore that um you know that you see on like these uh, these documentaries and they're just like put in a cage and I don't know I've seen messed up stuff that chickens go through and you can just imagine the energy if that egg popped out, what the energy is in here. You know, the egg in here, it's probably all anxious. He was stuck in a cage. Same with the meats, you know. Um, I try to get free uh, grass fed and, you know, free range meats as well, just because the chemicals in their body and the, the, the molecular, cellular structure 
isn't going to be as anxious. Now I'm very new into this whole learning and trying it out in terms of like it going through my body, but so far I have not been disappointed and um, I believe that cage free eggs are better than 12 chickens in one cage egg, whatever they call that one. So really quickly while my taters cook, I wanted to go over again another tip on how you can break through your plateaus. Now I showed you the ways in the gym, I showed you you can do tempo training where you're coming down slow. If you've been working out for a year, year and a half, you know, you're probably going to end up somewhere close or you already have getting into a plateau or something where you're like, I've seen results for the last year, but how come I'm not seeing those same results in year two? Well, it's because you've been doing the same thing and your body has adapted. And so usually what happens is that after a year, our, if we've never worked out before in our first year, our body transforms tremendously. The first 12 to 14 months, our body goes from, I mean, you guys have seen it, it's just a different person, especially if you have a lot to lose or a lot to gain um, in terms of muscle or fat. Now, when you plateau, that's when you start, your body's starting to adapt and it's starting to get into a, um, a stage where it's, it's used to being there. It's used to doing those workouts. It's used to eating those types of foods. It's used to eating those amounts of foods or that amount of workout. Maybe you usually work out 30 minutes a day and you eat this type of food and you have this type of lifestyle, it's used to it, now it's gonna to start to adapt to it. The way to break through that is to switch it up. Switch it up. You can switch it up through your workouts like I just showed you guys in the workout today. We did tempo training. So if you're always doing incline bench press, but you're always doing it at the same tempo, at the same weight, you know, the same amount of reps, same amount of sets, your chest and your muscles are gonna get used to it very quickly. So what you wanna do is you wanna switch it up, change tempo, right? Change weight, change how many reps you're doing. Change the uh, the amount of exercises you're doing with it. So maybe instead of you're just doing that, rest two minutes, chest press, rest a minute. You're doing chest press, curl, tricep extension. Chest press, curl, tricep. You're switching it up. And that's my rule and that's my tip to you if you're trying to break through a plateau is switch something up. Whether it's your training, whether it's your eating, uh, whether it's your lifestyle, like the way, you know, let's say you take the elevator all the time, now start taking the stairs. You gotta switch something up um, if you're seeing a plateau. Because obviously, uh, your body is adapting. That's what a plateau pretty much is, is it's your body adapting, which is a good thing. People usually think it's a bad thing, but it's just adapting in, in, in a better way. Um, so keep doing what you're doing, but now switch it up in a certain way, all right? I said switch it up like 15 times, Jesus. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Hopefully you got something out of it that will help you break through your plateau next time that you encounter one. Uh, if you did like this video, give it a like, give it a subscribe, and comment down below what you want me to start posting more videos of. Uh, I'm going to be a little more experimenting this time. Um, I'm definitely trying to come back to these vlogs. It's harder than I thought it was going to be, um, but I'm definitely going to try to put out content as much as I can. Uh, I'll be putting out these little shorts on YouTube. I don't know if you guys seen those, but those shorts are like a minute or less. Um, just to get something out for you guys. And uh, if you're not following me already on Instagram, go ahead and follow me on Instagram, at Coach Malik. And thank you so much for watching this video. I appreciate every single one of you guys. And remember, be certain in yourself and be consistent in your actions because consistency is key. Now, I'll see you next week.